Welcome to our OneStream platform. In this video, we will examine the proxy menu. Let's take a look to see what proxy gives us. Proxy can be used to when you don't want clients to see your server. To use our proxy functions, go to the proxy menu. First, create a new proxy by clicking Add Proxy. Choose a name for your proxy. Enter your IP address. At SSH, enter the same IP and your password. We have different kinds of proxies. Choose the type that works for you. One of the most important kinds of proxy is the entry point option. Created to reduce the load on your servers and to distribute your requests. This option shows all your servers, so you can choose the ones you want to distribute your requests. We recommend for the servers to be VOD or TV archive. We don't recommend them to be streaming servers. We recommend that the main server to be the one who is has static and for his weight to be one. So that you do not overload it. Another recommendation is that the other servers are to be distributed equally, depending on the number of clients and your opinion on which servers to handle the distribution of requests. The bigger the weight is, the bigger number of requests to deal with. Warning! This option is not compatible with groups. After being done, you save the new proxy. After saving, the new created proxy can be seen in Manage Proxies. There you can install it after its creation, edit it, or delete it. Now we will talk about Groups. The best option to use for groups is one proxy to all servers. How it works is the client connects to the main server. Then the main server forwards you to the chosen load balancer, passing through the proxy. There is only one proxy for all load balancers. You can create groups for proxies by add proxy group. Enter a name and click save. Then, the newly created group will show in manage proxy groups. Enjoy!